Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will arise from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes, arrange your blanket, put away all other devices so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, inhale deeply, spreading that oxygen throughout your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And exhale through the mouth, double the time. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply through the nose, putting a smile on your face, spreading that oxygen throughout your whole body, invigorating every cell. And exhaling double the time, releasing any stress and any strain. Once again, inhale deeply, 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 relaxing your shoulders, dropping your jaw as you relax the whole physical body. And exhaling double the time. Focus your attention on the sound of your breathing. Observe your abdomen area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take. Observe how it's inflating like a balloon and it's deflating every time you exhale rising and falling. Allow your breathing to be natural as you're relaxing deeper and deeper with every breath you take. And now your breath has turned into the waves reaching a sandy beach somewhere in Greece where you find yourself alone, walking along the shore. lesson will be about contemplating your own death. Epictetus, the great Greek philosopher, said that I am not eternal, but a human being, a part of a whole, as an hour is of the day. 
Like an hour, I too must come to an end and pass away. Things are impermanent, so I suggest you enjoy what you love as long as you have it. There's nothing we fear more than our own death. It makes us uncomfortable to feel that we are finite. This fear, according to the Stoics, is irrational. Because of that fear, we don't think about our own death. We avoid the thought completely. Or to leave it for times when there are funerals. We feel immortal, yet we're not. You must beware that what happens to others will also happen to you too. We don't know how much longer our heart will keep on beating if we're going to take another breath. And it's not really up to us to decide. It's only up to us to decide how we want to live, to live in the moment, in the present moment, with full awareness. We need to get the most out of life. The Stoics advise us to live today as if it were our last. Think of yourself as dead, wrote Marcus Aurelius to himself. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live properly. In other words, imagine you're already passed away and take this chance at a second life to live in a way that is profound and true. When I say living your day as if it were your last, it's not about going out and partying or being frivolous and doing drugs. It's all about periodically reflecting on the fact that you'll never live forever. You're mortal after all. Like an hour, you too shall pass away. The objective is not to change your activities necessarily, but your state of mind when you're doing activities, when you're having encounters with others. To be mindful, to be grateful. Contemplating on your own death, what the Stoics call memento mori, will actually deepen your enjoyment of life. You won't take things for granted anymore, and you'll appreciate every little thing more than others. Because you're aware that time is ticking, you will cherish every moment. Also, thinking of your death helps you to stop making random choices and wasting your time or being distracted from your true purpose in life. You're more aware of where you want to spend your time and with whom. You're more cautious of where you spend your money. 
making sure that you invest it in what's really important. And you don't waste away your life simply to make money that you'll never enjoy. Life is now and you want to make the best of it by expressing your best self in every moment. When you practice memento mori, you will be aware of what you're leaving behind, the echo of your being, your legacy. The ancient Romans who studied memento mori after the Greeks, who taught them the life of Socrates. Marcus Aurelius said to himself, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. This is your lesson. This is what you need to reflect on and begin to integrate it into your life as a practice.
Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times mentally and know that no matter what may happen in your life, this deep affirmation, this goal will definitely become an experience for you. On the count of three, you will be returning to full open awareness. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, rising your hands over your head, stretching like you do early in the morning. Two, take another deep breath and stretch your body from side to side. Inhaling deeply and feeling revitalized, coming back to awareness. Three, stretch your whole body from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. You're expanding and awakening. You're feeling confident, powerful, and much more certain of yourself. This is a good time to open your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that makes all the difference. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.